Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our Fire Emblem Awakening adventures. I did a bit of uh, grinding f mostly for, like, affinity levels, like weapon proficiency, as well as money. And, well, we're not going to turn down a Master Seal, are we? We're not going to turn down a Master Seal that's on sale. Yeah, because three shops just popped up out of nowhere. Another Master Seal! Okay. I don't need to take my time. I know exactly what I'm going to buy. What's hammering? Repairs? But it's a one. But that means that if it's a super one, I guess we're also buying that. Sure. Hammer and L wind. What's like normal wind? Just wind. I guess we can buy the L wind. It's on sale. Maybe. Do I also want to buy like the hammer? I don't think so. It's expensive. But I also getting money's fucking easy in this game. If we need money, we can just run to the golden gaff and quickly annihilate things there. But, uh, first things first, barracks and then support, because I did a lot of supporting. Apparently, we have a lot of married people who are just interacting with other people now. If that is indeed what it is. Viking Maribel, yep. Let's see. Also, Gaius at the bottom. Hello, Neon, do you, uh, know where the snacks are? I must say, you're a reliable fighter. He's the guy that dies the most in all of our training. Why don't we join forces out there? Who is the Vike to say no? If it's combat genius you want, I'm your man. And who's next? Ah, just a uh, Nawi in here. Ooh, what's this? Finders keepers. What'd you find? Uh, uh, okay, unnamed fire. Okay, sure. Why did we have that in our barracks? Why did we have that in our barracks? Who is next? So, two married people, Sully and Sumia. Yeah, Sumia. For some, I think it's because they both begin with S and U, and my brain was just like, wait, am I misremembering? Got any aspirations? I have a crap load of respect for people who follow their dreams. Well, I'd like to tell a fortune with a griffin feathers for a change. Does that count? That seems like a bit odd. Why not Pegasus feathers? Why does it have to be griffin feathers? Do griffins even exist in this world? I also kind of like that different characters have different, like, footsteps. My, you positively glow today. Has my dash in entrance left you enraptured? This is the second time they've had this conversation. Nope, I'm just happy to have my freedom and be around all these fun people. And who next? Ah, Donnie and, uh, yeah, Kellum. I'm curious. What's the one thing you want more than anything? Oh, I just dream of making a difference so I can go home with my chest puffed out. A lot of... <laughs> that was very productive, Barracks. And now we go to support because, boy, howdy, do we have a lot. First, uh, we'll do a f Sully. Hey. There you are, Frederick. I thought you might be up for a little sparring. Ah. Certainly, Sully. All right, you may strike whenever you are ready. Where Get I ready go? for a whooping. Yeah! Hmm, good technique and excellent form. However, it is now my turn. Gah! And then she fell. Consider <laughs> Alas for you. <laughs> You're a funny man, Frederick. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, just peachy, thanks. I uh, think I'm going to yield, though. Yes. Is something the matter? <sighs> just wondering how you beat me so easily is all. I would hardly call such a match easy. Yeah, but I never lose to anybody. No. Sometimes these things are a simple matter of chance. Mm -hmm. So he got a crit. Pick a god and pray. Die. Well, thanks for the practice. I'll let you know once I've honed my edge a bit. Ah. I look forward to it. Very simple, but very nice. And now Krom. Why can't he marry Krom? He's practically already is. I've completed my patrol of the encampment, my lord. All appears to be in order. I found no sign of the enemy nearby. I believe we are safe here for the night. Good, Good to hear. 
Thank you, Frederick. While on my rounds, I took it upon myself to inspect our weaponry as well. I've placed any items that showed exceptional wear outside your pavilion. Be your choice to sell or repair them, sire. I recommend swift action. Oh, well, you have been busy. Your work ethic always impresses, Frederick. I almost feel lazy by comparison. No. Nonsense. I've done nothing more than my duty as a knight of Elise. I, I, I'm still trying to understand how to pronounce these words. Oh, and beg pardon, my lord, but I noticed you often cause a ruckus when training. With that in mind, I reinforce the tents near any open areas you would like to use. Uh, yes, I see. Sorry for the trouble. Really? No trouble at all, my lord. Happy to help. Also, with the nights growing colder, I procured blankets from a nearby village. I've read a, I've read a variety of colors, so you might pick that which best suits you. They, practic they practically are already married. If I may be so bold, sire, peach would seem to, <laughs> to best flatter your complexion. How are they not a, a potential romance? Lucia, Lucina could be adopted. But perhaps blue, just to be safe. Yes, that's the best. Blue it is. Here you are, my lord, and two sets of spares, just in case. Hmm. Frederick, do you ever tire? Well. Of course not, my lord. I'm here to serve. And the one final thing, I've taken measures to raise troop numbers and morale. I had an artisan create posters emblazoned with your noble image. It's my lord in a bold pose, naked, save a scale in one hand and a sword in the other. At your And at your feet, I scrawled your new recruiting motto, Crom wants you. I had them pinned inside each and every tent. Surely the troops will be thrilled to rally behind their common leader, my lord. Huh? Wait, you did what? And who's... You hung this pic in everyone's tent? Indeed. No need for thanks, my lord. Merely act doing my duty. And, the, and that concludes my report. Rest well, sire. Frederick, wait! We really need to... Talk. Oh, gods. I've got to tear those posters down before anyone sees them. That is hilarious. If not for the fact that... Remember... His sister died, like, yesterday. And let's talk to Tharja. Hey. Tharja, are you following me? Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe? I've seen you hiding behind tents and wagons all week. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> That's, again, whoever... D uh, sometimes the voice lines are just very nice. Nicely done when paired with this specific situation. Ah, uh, of course you'd notice, with our fates entwined, so... Sorry, what? Our fates? Oh yes, I realized at the first moment we locked eyes. She isn't like the others, I thought. She's the one I've been seeking. Right, well, um, thank you, I guess? That's why I've been watching your every single move. Yesterday you read two books and a part of a third. You snacked on an apple. And last night you turned over twelve times in your sleep. Well below your average. You've been watching me sleep? I thought you'd be grateful. Um, no, I think disturbed is more the word. You mean to tell me you've been following me every single day since we met? <laughs> yes. I suddenly feel very ill. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll take care of you. Very good care. Coming from a normal friend, I'd probably be happy to hear that. But somehow when you say it, it's not quite so comforting. What? Is that what you want, Neon? Someone normal? Yeah. Well, I suppose that's to say... All I needed to hear. Wait, Tharja, stay here, where I can see you. Oh, gods, this will not end well. And somehow that raises their support level. <laughs> All right, let's see the continued uh, adventures of Lanku and Pan. You again. I want to return your bag of weeds. I'm tired of carrying it around all the time. Idiot human, why didn't you just throw it away? <sighs> Never mind here, give it to me. Don't come any closer. I'll toss the bag that way, and you can pick it up. Please. Do you hate my kind so much? No. It's not your kind, I mind. It's your gender. And why would you, a human skilled in swordplay, possibly fear all females? <laughs> I have my reasons. I am haunted by nightmares, confused, terrifying memories from my past. When I approach a woman, be she Tagal or human, I am gripped by an icy fear. Right. Then I am not the only one plagued by terrible memories. I do not like to speak of it. If others knew I still suffered from childish nightmares, they would think me weak. Throw me the bag. Right here. Well. Thank you. Now, wait right there. What are you doing? You. I'm making a special brew using the herbs I collected. Here. 
It smells vile, and there are twigs floating in it. Yes. Just drink it down. Are you sure it's safe for humans? Drink it or don't, I care not. Very well. Glug, 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 glug. It tastes even worse than it smells. Yes, but you'll find it helps with your nightmares. Gods, that was awful. I hope this isn't some kind of elaborate practical joke. I like their kind of, like, that kind of dynamic. But let's see what Libra and Pan have together. <clears throat> Might I beg a moment of your time? You get one moment. State your business, priest. Um, I wanted to thank you. You owe me nothing. Yes. But I do. You saved Lady Emmerin from an assassination. As an Elysian citizen and a man of the cloth, I owe you my gratitude. Stop. I saved no one. Imran lived only long enough to fall into the next snare. Good heavens. You were there then, when she... Oh, I feel we both witnessed it. Oh. I see that what happened to her pains you even now. I, too, still grieve. I cannot help but feel that I failed her somehow. Mm. What, then? You would have the two of us sit around licking each other's wounds? No, no I merely thought to. You. you are human. I'm Tagal. Linger near me and you'll be viewed with suspicion by your kind. Yes. You're worried for my reputation. That's very gallant. Watch your words, man spawn, lest you get yourself hurt. Beg pardon. My apologies. <laughs> well, that was an interesting back and forth. Let's see what Vike and Crom have to say. All right, everyone. Let's pair off and try some one-on-one -on -one sparring. <laughs> oh, you ready to take on Teach, Crom? Vike, maybe we should find new partners just to keep things fresh. Pshaw, we're rivals. We have to fight. You can't turn your back on fate. Plus, I was really close to beating you last time. Really, really close. Right. All right, if you say so. But still, I think we should... Hey. No, it's fine. I know what you're doing. You're trying to psych me out. Oh, come on. If we don't mix it up, we'll never keep ourselves sharp. Hey. Oh, I see. Not enough suspense for you, is that it? Then let's spice it up with a little wager. Everything we own, winner takes all! No. Vike, we're training for war. I can't very well gamble with the royal treasury. Hey. Fine, fine, no gold, but how about this? The loser has to sneak up behind Frederick and pull down his pantaloons. Uh, 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 Are you mad? Frederick would chop you up like firewood and then make a fire. Yeah, What's this now? Is someone chicken? Bacock, bock, 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 bock. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll spar with you. Just stop that ridiculous clucking. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, now Crumb's got a full head of steam. Show all teach what you got! Interesting. And what weirdness shall go down between these two? <laughs> Spoonful of frog's wart, one lizard tail, cock's comb of coal black rooster. What are you doing, Tharja? What? Trying to invent a spell that can change memories. Yes. Is such a thing even possible? Maybe. Well, I'll never know if you stand there and bother me, will I? Ah, uh, of course. I'll leave you to it. Er, uh, but before I go, can I ask you one thing? What? Make it snappy. How are you going to determine if the experiment is a success? Hmm. I'll cast the hex on someone and see what happens, same as always. In that case, I would like to volunteer to be your test subject. <laughs> oh, a priest wants to sacrifice himself for the greater good? Shocker. No. Unfortunately, my motives are largely selfish. <laughs> sure, whatever. I accept anyways. Just don't blame me if it all goes horribly wrong. Er, uh, is that a possibility? Well. No curse is without danger. There's always a risk of harm to body and to soul. Yes. I see. Then I shall prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. <laughs> Pray to whatever gods you believe in, priest. This is going to be fun. Tharja is already seeming very freaky. I don't think that Tharja is going to work well for long. <laughs> Tonight we're holding a war council. Don't be late. Is Le Lisa... I keep wanting to say Lisa. Is Lisa hosting again? Maybe she'll make more of those little honey cakes. Oh, hold on. You've got a bug stuck in your hair. Don't come any closer. What? Well, if I repulse you that much... No, you're not special. I feel the same way about all women. Well, that makes it all better. Hmm, I wonder if someone cast a curse to make you fear women. Right. I think not. What? Then why are you so afraid of us? Women. Something at the core of my nature has always made me uneasy around you. Yeah, still sounds like a curse to me. I wonder who cast it. You want me to fix it? What? Pretty much. It must be hard turning into a gibbering idiot whenever you meet a woman. A woman? A woman. 
You have the power to rid me of this fear? Someone's interested. No. I'm not. What? Sure, whatever. When you change your mind, you know where to find me. Who the hell am I going to pair with you, Farja, all the way to S rank? I just feel like you're going to curse anyone. You're going to have a weird relationship. Hex reduces a void for all adjacent. And of... Why wouldn't you go with an Anathema? Because it... Avoid and dodge by 10 for all enemies within three spaces as of, like, Hex. Like... This just feels like kind of, I don't know, the word, like, uh, da, 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 what's the word? Redundant to a degree? Like, if you get more than five skills, the first one to go would be the purple one. But with all that out of the way, let us go and uh, go to this. The Twins Hideout, Paralog 4. Unless they absolutely annihilate us. Ooh, Anna the Merchant. But why? I find it funny. It's like, ah, Paralog 4, the the twins hideout. And then it's like, psych, it's actually, it's actually Anna the Merchant. That's kind of funny. Oh, that poor girl. Listen. What's wrong? Hey. Oh, sirs, please help her. A young merchant girl is being set upon by bandits. We're on our way. Well, that was nice and quick. Very nice and quick. Well, first things first, let's view the map. Well, there's a gate. Well, door. I wonder if Gaius could open that. Another one, so there's probably going to be... We'll need to pair the boy up with... Hmm. There's just, like, so many dudes. Myrmidons, archers... I wonder if our Pegasuses could fly over the walls. That would be amusing. Hmm. First, we need to probably talk to her. Are there any thieves that, like... Hmm. And there's a bunch of chests, too. Damn it, he's also gonna move. Does anybody have, like... Well... Hmm. Oh, Thunder, you're a trickster. Oh, and you also open doors. Allows you to open doors and chests without keys. So what I could do is, like, have Gaius and somebody run up here to get to, like, these chests. And then send, like, somebody to rescue her, probably recruit her. And then run to get this before... Uh, presumably this guy bees a jerk and grabs it. Hmm. Well, lots to think about. Well, first things first, select units. Because we need to be careful because... Now we... Well, I guess we could use now we more. But Pan is running very low on... Beast stone, and we can't uh, get more just yet for some reason. Kind of mean. Granted, it was a 50 use thing. Now the question is, who do we want to send in? Hmm. I guess I'll send me in to use more sword to level that up. The only thing really is to... Hmm. I'll keep Frederick just so that he can carry, like, Gaius, but who do I want to throw out? I guess... Hmm. Because I want to throw in Gaius. Here, Gaius. Where are you, Gaius? I'm blind. Good, good. Now let's move things around, because... Oh, I can't move him. First things first is... Actually... Well, yeah, we'll have him here just to see if he can open the door. And then more likely go here, here, open, charge through. 
But then we'll need, like, other people to, like, come along and help. Hmm. I guess I'll go with the War Monk. And we'll press up here. I think this might be good. All right. We'll save and then we'll fight. Right. You. We have business, you and I. And I aim to settle the debt. Victor will be avenged today. Mm. Oh, dear. Have we met? Mm. Playing dumb won't save you, girly. The gold you net from the slavers will build Victor the finest grave in the land. <laughs> Careful, love. Prices aren't the only thing I cut in half. Like I said, go with him. Then we're going to come up here, swap and attack him with sword. Bust him down. You fool. Now die. That was a cool animation. I need to use swords more. I wonder if I should have given somebody Roy's sword. I need to manage that. Sorry, Gregor. You have to suffer, I guess. Hmm. Well, let's see. Just in case, we'll pair... Him up and he can come. I uh, probably should have given him a better sword. Oh well. Because again, I probably need to talk to her. Or maybe we just need to finish the thing. But I assume we need to talk to her because she's named in green and stuff. My strength comes from diligence. And he can open door, but it requires an action. Well, let's join. Join her. Go ahead and strike this guy down. He only has 21% chance to hit. Good job, Rickon. Especially because you're not a woman. Granted, he seems, like, amicable to, like, helping others even if they are women. He's just, he has issues. We'll swap. Open door. Let's see. Hmm. Could blast him just to free up Mar... Uh, Marth. No, no, he's not Marth. Idiot. So yeah, let's go ahead and blast him. That way, that can go a bit faster. And yeah, we'll smack him with Gregor. Good job, Tharja. And a level up for Gregor. Gregor no run of the Miller kind guy, yes? Luckily, these guys have low chance to hit, and she is in the woods, so she should have, like, uh, less issues. Never mind, they're going to throw axes at her. Don't you dare hit. Good. She is killing everybody in there. He's dead. This guy has the highest chance to hit out of them all. And he still missed. And they blocked off the route to getting to her, so it'll be next round that I have to go in. Gregor, no! Muriel, no! 
Well, he did hit a 69%, so good for you, guy. You're now dead. Go back to the Hidden Leaf Village with that headband. And leveled up. Good. And they're going after her again. Bastard. And you missed. Now die. Sixty percent. Please miss. Bastard. Why are they all here? Good thing I didn't bring any of my Pegasus Knights. They are nothing but archers. This is very mean. I think I put away all of my Vulnaries. And the Ruffian is dead. Darn, can't get too close because of the woods. Guess just to be... Hmm. Just to be safe, I'll put her on. Guess I'll swap and blast you. Now die. And leveled up your skill. Good job. And I'll send them up this way. Grego can come. Hmm. Let's see. Or actually, we can go this way, perhaps. Switch and blast him from afar. El Funda! And you missed your fire, now die! <laughs> and I shall switch to him so that he can, let's see, level up his sword, probably. Steel sword, level up your sword. Goodbye, Archer, man. More throwing axes. She must have a good avoid stat. So all my people are getting blasted. Like that. Except for more damage. You have made a terrible decision in life, haven't you? I think the only reason Gaius is alive right now is because I paired him with Frederick. No, Frederick, the thunder will conduct through your armor. Be gone, fiend. Come fight Sully. Nope, well, the, the mage already did their move. So we're going to come here. Switch. Talk. Hello there, handsome. Am I being rescued? Well, that was the plan, but you seem to be holding up just fine. Can you still fight? Mm -hmm. I could stand to open a few more rogues, sure. Or locks, for that matter. A thief, is it? Yeah. Locksmith, thank you very much. But yes, door chest, I'll have it smiling wide in a trice. I wonder what a trice is. A seasoned thief and infamous rogue wields swords and stabs. And it looks like these bandits have quite the horde built up. Really? Huh. Well then, I think you're in business. And we can wait. Oh wait. Hmm. Let's see, if that's the case, then... Because they're going there... They can just go around, but... 
Hmm. Oh, sure, now that I'm... What are these, like, super woods? Smash this man! Maybe I should have been leveling Vike more. He can be a beast if he wants to. And we'll smack this guy down. Kill him now! Your lightning is no match for sword! Let's see... The problem is, is that... Hmm. Yeah, I'll send up there to get them. Let's see. And we'll move up slowly, because we don't need to go that fast. But let's see. If I go here, he shouldn't be able to hit me, because these are blocks. So if I went here, yes. But here, no, because he would need to be there. But then these guys would also come and kill... So this guy's going to come up there. Hmm. Because I think this guy is on a deadly mission to get there. So, hmm. Because we activate these. What I'll do is I'll just come here and maybe draw some out. Luckily, they only do so much damage. And this will level, up, level her up some. I am... My words are failing me and I don't know why. But now that she's under my control, she gets to level up. Slowly. Oh! He's not even going for that chest. Because we need a fucking key, goddammit. I am a fool. For some reason, I thought I could open the chest no matter what. I guess I'll come back and do that. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's probably going for the best loot. Yeah, so long as we avoid this, he might want to go that way. But we're going to head into the woods. I guess we can go ahead and grab this. Sparkles. A present for old Teach. In his bow. You'll start a forest fire, you fool! Lots of archers. Jerk. So we're going to go ahead and slash this guy down. And do just enough damage to kill him. Goodbye, ruffian. And we will switch. And well, actually, you have actually more health here. So here, we'll smack you with an iron sword. You 
can come up here and grab the chest, which is large bullion. Hmm. But we need him alive to be able to do things. So. At least if next turn. Yeah, next turn. Hmm. We'll kill you. Because the next turn, the thief will be spending a turn opening a chest. Arm scroll. I wonder what that is. At least it doesn't seem to be anything super important. Now the thing is... Then again, what is an arm scroll? Raises the weapon level of all equipable weapons and stabs. I'm going to quickly look up what that actually is because the wording feels odd. What is a weapon scroll? Or arm scroll, I miss him. See. Well, yeah, raises the user's weapon levels by one tier each. So I definitely might want that. Definitely might want. And luckily, that would also put me in a good place because presumably all his guys would come after. So yeah, we're going to do that. Give me that, bastard. Give it back. And then we can just run next turn, maybe. Since you serve no purpose, we will blast you with magic. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll just use wind. You'll get obliterated. Now the problem is... Well, if anything, that actually might work out well, because they just need to survive... These guys need to survive long enough for her to get up here and blast. In which that case... There. It's good to sneak in extra training. Makes Gregor ready for more fighting. Good. Except he's probably gonna get nuked. Because it's Frederick. Fuck. So Victor may very well come along and be obliterated. Victor, please be very strong and survive. He's just getting permanent Luna. He's gonna kill Victor in one go. Oh no. Victor, please. Good, thank you. You stand no chance. I'm a conqueror by name and a conqueror by nature. Damn it, just not enough. Of which case, uh... Hmm. And open chest. 
to get the mend. If only you could actually use it. This just means that I can send other people in because he won't be super duper crazy, presumably. Let's see, is there anything else up there? Nope. Who are you going to attack next? You're going to kill the boy. Bye, boy. Unless he misses. You are so lucky that he missed. Now give me that other chest. Got another killing edge. Works for me. Yeah, and now I'm just going to switch back. Because I'm going to let Krom get the kill. And he has a talisman? What's a talisman? Permanently raises resistance by two. The fool should have used it. But yeah, we'll have... Uh, hmm. Maybe we should actually... What we can do is move him in, slash, have the war monk heal. And I think that would be good. So who's going to get smited now? Bye, Rickon. Oh, you're, oh yeah, because you can fight back. Why did you choose... Why? Why did you choose that? Now oh, this will work. Even if he hits. And like I said, switch, staff, mend, crom. And swap. Suck on that. And you can, you're not going to be here for anything, so you can just stay there. And we will let Krom get the kill. Smite this man. He was definitely stronger than his brother. And now he's going to get annihilated. I... I see your face, Victor. No. No, wait. That's me. That must be... That's actually kind of a depressing end. Because the last guy, he actually saw, like, a, a, a happy field. That guy, he saw his own face. Thanks for your help. My name's Anna. Some folks like to call me the secret seller. Mm. Yes, I remember you. What? Oh? Mm, I'm afraid I'm drawing a blank. What? Mm? Oh, then I must be... I'm sorry, I thought you... Wait, what am I saying? I know we helped you. I'm sure of it. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you must have met one of my sisters. Mm. Sisters? Gods, you look identical. Yes, there's a strong family resemblance. Oh, and we're all traveling merchants. What? With the same name. Yes. yes, actually. That's part of the secret. Your family gatherings must be chaotic. Oh. True, but aren't everyone's. Still, I can't just send you, uh, send you on your way after helping two of us. So let me come along and aid you in return. I'd be... Uh, excuse me. I can be quite useful. You'll never, you'll never make a loss with me in tow. I guarantee it. Interesting. Um, ah, two enemies have appeared on the board. So go ahead and talk to Sully. Hmm? Oh, hey, Sully. Crumb. Hello, Crumb. Listen. Are you here alone? I thought you'd be of Lissa and the rest of the women. No. Why, so I can make dinner for all the brave men? Nuts to that, I'll tend the fire. What? That seems like a lot of hard work for one person. Would you rather I cook, or so? No, thanks. I hate all that crap. Really? Huh, well, I guess I understand. You don't seem much like, uh, seem like much of a, uh, right. what, a lady? Go ahead, say it, no sweat off my thighs. <laughs> so apparently that's just an ongoing crom thing. 
It's just that the Avatar just couldn't handle it. Okay, then. I guess everyone has their own special talents. So you can't really cook or sew either. I can at least help with the fire. Ha, yeah. huh, you're all right, Crumb. A decent little thing. Yeah! Yep! Hold a moment. Would you be so kind as to put an end to your caterwauling? I'm trying to read, but I can't hear myself think over your incessant grunting. Har hey. har! You gotta give it your all when you train, or it's just a waste of time. Indeed. Hmm, yes, I suppose that makes sense. The explosive release of air from the lungs generates power in peripheral muscles. Huh? Who's got periwinkle muscles now? Fast. And rapid spin attacks create centripetal force that increases overall speed. Fascinating. I imagine you uh, you used complex calculus to optimize your methods. What? Lady, from what you just said, I understood fascinating, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Surely you developed these skills of yours by calculating the forces involved? No. I don't need a bunch of math mumbo-jumbo. I do it all by instinct. Mm -hmm. Irrational means have yet taken you to a rational technique. Fascinating. Perhaps this instinct of which you speak bears further investigation. <laughs> Fighting a war ain't rational, lady. Just watch me in the next battle. Right. Very well. I shall do just that. A kind of interesting possible... Like... I'm trying to think of words. Relationship. The peaceful village. I'm trying to think. Because uh, the other one was... Ah, just over there. Since the border pass, we know this one. We'll go ahead and smash these sons. The question is, who do we want to bring... First things first, view map. Lots of dudes. For this one, we should probably focus on, like, level leveling. So, hmm. Maybe not Libra, because I think War Monk is, like, an advanced class. Maybe Naoi, and we can pair her with somebody... Not Farja. Maybe me, since I'm close to leveling. Hmm. Not you, because you're super powerful no, ma no matter what. Well, we should try and level Vike up some more. Yeah. Hmm. And since these two are just basic mages, let's also do that. Alright then. Well, first things first, view the map, and let's see who do we want where. Guess I can pair Naoi with him. And draw back into the trees. Hmm. And I guess we can pair you and Sully, but have you... Hap but, mm, but does flying just count in general, but it's Wevern specific, so I don't know. But yeah, everything seems fine. We'll just pair as we go. And then we'll fall back and let her take over a bit, because she should be good. And actually, we can do that. Let's go. Fight me. I'm not scared of you. You'll do no damage to the dragon. Dragon, dragon, fight the dragon. Crystal dragon, die. Sorry, so I assume this is going to be Naoi leveling hour. And gonna use up all of her dragon stone. Y you picked the worst person to fight here. He's literally wielding the weapon that murders you. Right. Why would you do this? Good job, Sully.
Let's see. Well, actually, we just stay there. Swap. Bonus damage with wind. Yep, we'll go ahead and do that. Kill steal. Because why not? I'll come smack you with my bronze sword to level it up some. We can blast you with fire. A double fire for your efforts. And you can just go there. Back people up. You'll survive unless Gregor wants to kill you. Congrats, Gregor has decided to spare you. I think this might still kill you. I'm bad with math. Congratulations, you murdered the boss without even trying. And you got an axe. And now another guy has come to die. Why? Be fireballed, dear sir. Why is everyone choosing to die? This is Muriel leveling power hour now. The predicted outcome. You predicted that you would be the singular target of all to exist in this universe? We can go ahead and blast that guy. Noe, not Nowe. Oh, HP increased by two. Good job. Very nice. Come down here and kill steel with your sword. We need to level up. And now, Gregor. Smack this guy's sword. He tried to hit you with your own move. Smack that man. And we'll just... Yeah. Because he's going to commit suicide by Gregor. <laughs> His sword was just floating there. And that didn't even feel like an emulation issue. <laughs> that just felt like a weird animation quirk. Will the other guy run away? He does not, then we can get to cool him. But before we do anything, support! Ah, Sully and me! Ah, crap. Come on, Sully, get your damn act together. Sully, what are you mumbling about? And why are you holding your side? Is everything all right? I'm fine, it's nothing. Leave me alone. You look anything but fine, Sully. You're not hurt, are you? No, I... All right, I put on weight and my muscle mass is down. You believe that? We're fighting a war and I'm getting a gut. What? Are you sure? You look great to me, same as ever. Then you aren't looking hard enough. Well, this is a side of you I've never seen. What the hell are you talking about? Well, I just didn't think you were the kind of person to worry about her figure. Um, Gods, but you're a blooming ninny. This isn't about looks. I said my muscle mass had dropped. What's going to affect combat? Which could get my arse killed. Sorry. If I mean, um, yes, of course, I get it. Please don't hurt me. Nah. Hurt you? Why the hell would I do that? Oh. <laughs> well, if you are worried about weight distribution, you could try this. Mm -hmm. Gods, it smells like horse plop. What is it, some kind of jerky? <laughs> It's a rare form of dried seaweed, actually. I bought it back in town. 
The shopkeeper said it contained insane quantities of fiber. Then he just kept saying insane and cackled while doing a little dance. Quite an odd fellow, really. Hmm, sounds risky. Well, I know how brave you are. Is that a dare? Fine, then I'll try it. Yeah. Great, to tell the truth, I've put on a few pounds myself lately. I've been meaning to try the seaweed, but was too scared, er, busy, too busy. Oh, yeah. Ha, too much pie, that's your problem. All right then, Neon, let's see what <laughs> who can get into shape faster. An odd way to go, but sure. Interesting. Self-improvement race. Gregor! Hey, Gregor! There's no need for bellowing like crazy person. Gregor is old, but ears still hearing fine. It's okay, I need you to tell me everything you remember about the last battle. I was way at the back behind the fighters, so I couldn't see anything at the front line. Hmm, you want to know? Rickon is writing history of battles. <laughs> exactly. Gregor not minding to answer questions, but why do you do this thing? If we keep detailed records, we can learn from them and do better the next time. A serious boy here. Gregor like that. Okay, Gregor helps. In last battle, Gregor fought on front line. At his side was... No. Or actually, you can skip that stuff you did. I didn't need that. I just need to know about Krom. This history's about him and me. Oh, Rickon has hero worship for big manly Krom, eh? Hero worship? <laughs> all Krom does is treat me like a child. My plan is to keep a detailed record of all the stuff the two of us do in battle. Then they'll have no choice but to recognize me as a full-blown shepherd soldier. Anyway, can we get back to my questions? Gregor wishes he were Krom, so he too have party of fodding flunkies. <laughs> I like Gregor. He seems like a fun guy. He's just like, <laughs> you are silly little boy. But he doesn't take it in badly. He's just a fun man. All right. Ooh, instant level dude. Now the question is, who do I want to bring? Who do I want to bring into hell? Could bring in Donald and maybe pair him up with somebody. Get rid of you. Hmm. Keep me, because I could level up some and again raise that. Maybe put Noe away until we get more Dragonstone. Hmm. I'll, I'll want to use you in, like, the main battles. We'll put you away so we can level up Rickon. Let's see. Who do we want to level? Maybe Cordelia to get her closer to level 20, which I think is the cap. Donal. And then who? Hmm. I guess Stahl. Well, let's try and level up Stahl some. Let's see, because we have a bunch of jerks on this side, and a bunch of jerks up there. We could all run into the forest, maybe. Because there seems to be a lot of dudes there compared to up, so I think one or two parties will go up to draw, and everyone else will go down here with Cordelia maybe flying up ahead to grab the sparkly. Let's see, who should be paired with who? Hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll pair Rickon and Vike. Donal and Cordelia. Stahl and me. Then I guess Sully and Gregor. Let us fight! He'll be able to smite me a little bit, but mostly will just be you. And we need to level up your sword, so keep your sword active. And then poor boy Krom will be alone. You can come down here, grab it. Did you just meet the love of your life? You look so happy. Nah, I'm just tickled to be among such a brave group, so a group of folks like y'all. All 
All right, let's go. Who will you fight? How much you pay? To fight glowing green, not green, golden man. Yet. Good job, Gregor. Metal level Sully up, nice. With a nice spread. She even got one in magic. Oh, that's not nice. How dare you. But they'll only do one damage if they hit. That's hilarious. Let's see. We'll come over here. Put Donal on, and what does Donny? He needs to just level up his lance some more. Become a master lancer. Do a spin and a stab. And then we'll blast you. Hmm. Guess we'll just move up a bit. And keep him on. In this case, I shall smack you with my sword. And a level up. Huzzah. And then Krom can just stay at the back. Hmm. What do we need to level up? More of our sword. Well. Worst comes to worst. Hmm. How close are these guys? He's close enough to attack. Which is worrisome, so we'll put Gregor on. And you scare me, so I'm going to smite you a little bit. I just love that he does a one-handed backstand flip. You have come to die. Congratulations. <laughs> well, level up for the Vike. And apparently everyone wants to die by Vike today. <laughs> and apparently Rickon wants to kill Steel today. Well, you're quite mean. And you suck. Why would you do that? I, I mean, sure, I guess. Now die. What an odd choice. I mean, it lets Krom also level up some. Huzzah! Good job, Sully. And that also meant that the guy couldn't come in and do stuff. I'm gonna poke you with my stick. Hmm. He's still like. Well, yeah, let's give him the level up. I have a spear for you! Literally just enough damage to kill him. Yeah! I still got a long ways left to go. Send the bully on away, I guess. Oh, a bit extra practice is tougher in plowing the fields any which day. Go 
Gregor going to kill you? Gregor wants you to die, but first let's see. Uh, then, yeah, this works good. Gregor fucks you to death. And almost levels up too. And gets paid. Gregor loves this. Again, that axe just seems unwieldy and weird. Ah, he's gonna throw his little spear at us. And Sully's really protective today. This guy again? Ow! We're gonna go ahead and give this to Cordelia. Well, actually, let's see. Nope, can't get there anyway. So, Cordelia, yeah, you can have this guy. You can kill him with a javelin. Imagine getting stabbed to death by a javelin. And now I shall have Sully stab you to death. Doesn't really seem to change much, so Bronze Sword it is. And then maybe one of the other horse people can run up there and stab him. I think they're the only ones that'll be able to do that. Man, eh, just go ahead and kill him because nobody else is going to get up there in time. It's a short spear. You don't have the reach. I wonder if that actually affects its, like, accuracy since it's a short spear. My lord, the Risen have all been killed to the man. Sully and Gregor. Hey, hey Gregor. No. It's sad times when youngsters address elders without proper title. Sully should be calling Gregor, sir. He is old, yes? He's only polite. Whatever, listen. Are you of a fighting style that's fearsomely effective, that true? Mm. Many brave men will testify to Gregor's skill with blade. It's too bad all are being dead. <laughs> oh, Gregor loves that joke. Great, then what say you and I have a duel? Mm, what do you pay, Gregor? Mm? You want to be paid for fencing practice? We're allies, you old coot. You should be helping me for free. Gregor is sell sword who swings sell <laughs> who swings swell sword. I like that. Dinner must get on table somehow, no? I'll put you on the table, old man. Never mind, fine, but if I pay you, I get some I get to set some conditions. Conditions? You say you're a top fighter, but how do I really know that? You might curl into a ball at the first sign of trouble, and then I'm out out of good coin. So here's the deal. I only pay you if you manage to teach me something new. Beautiful lady is thriving for a hard bargain. She is craving coin back guarantee. But Gregor accepts, so long as he sets condition of his own. Loser must obey one request from winner, even if humiliating. We have deal, yes? Or are you like the cat who is scared? Right. Deal. I'm tired of men like you underestimating women like me. Oi, but you are wrong. Gregor underestimate no one. Especially not muscle-bound lady with great chip on shoulder. Then this should be interesting. Very interesting indeed. Dum de doo. <laughs> Dum de doo. <laughs> the sun is gold, them clouds is white. Lands far below, cause I'm in flight. Listen. I never thought to hear that song sung by a simple villager. Huh? Hey, Godelia. Reckon you know that song too, huh? <laughs> Any peg is a soldier worth her wings knows that one, Donald. 
but I had always thought it was nearly unknown outside the Order. Yeah. A lady visited my village, donkeys years ago it was, and taught me the words. I confess I don't really get what it's about exactly, but it's a rousing tune that makes me think of bravery and valiant daring do. Right. Well, it is about bravery. It celebrates the exploits of one of history's greatest Pegasus Knights. Huh. Well, ain't that something? Yes, she lived back in the legendary times of the first exalt of Elise. I'm still trying to... I ever, I always see that word in my brain. It's like, it's Elise. But they said Elise. It's like hurting my soul. She was his greatest knight and his most stalwart defender. She watched over him like the sun itself swooping down to dispatch foes. The slow, heavy knights feared her aerial dance most of all. At night, they huddled together and told tales of a death-dealing lance from the sky. Gosh! She sounds mighty impressive. Oh, she was, but she was more than just a warrior. She had the courage of a demon, yes, but the heart of an angel. They say the people loved her even more than she loved the exalt. In fact, for every foe she defeated, she won two more to her side with her charisma. Golly, tough as a badger, but charming as an old fox. Reckon I see why they wrote such a fine song for her. Well. They built statues, too, one of which still stands in the Elysian capital. I could take you there to see it after the war if you'd like. Right. You bet your gold teeth I would. It's a date, Cordelia. I like all the, like, character interactions. But since we did a decent amount of grinding beforehand, off screen to, like, level people up, first things first, we need to handle our inventories. Let's see. We store wave the bullion. Fitting for the cell sword to have all the money in his bow can be thrown in. Let's see. I think you're good. Steel Lance, Steel Lance. Can take away that. He is B level. He has a Steel Lance to use. Stall. He has a Steel Lance and a Steel Sword to use. So we can take that. We can take the arm scroll. Is there anyone we want to use the the scroll on now? Maybe me? Hmm. Or maybe I should wait, level them both up, because I don't know the specifics of how that works. Like, it could just raise the levels, but then it would be flat. It won't, like, increase you to the next level precisely. Like, it won't, I presume that it won't act like the golden risen guy. The golden, like, plague monster puddle man. Where if you kill it, it will give you literally 100 experience. In my mind, the arm scroll will instead just bump you straight up to the next level zero zero. Is what I'm thinking. So we need to be careful. Yeah, you seem good. We will take mend... We'll take Large Bullion and Killing Edge. We need to distribute Killing Edge and the other swords. Seem good. You seem good. Seem good. All right. Now, next thing, we're going to give you a really good sword if we can. Let's see. Alms Blade, Roy's Blade. It is a D, but it's a might of eight. Let's see. Which would be good. Maybe. Could also give him a killing edge. Because it's a might of nine. We'll give him a killing edge. Where's I? Where is me? Because it feels like these key <laughs> the characters keep moving around. Let's see. Since we're not really using that, I think that we will store it and bring in a sword that I can use. Or, like, the next tier up, like a C rank. Well, give me a steel sword so that once I level up, I can automatically start... Wait, no, that's D, A, B. My brain was already thinking, so technically I could be using, like, uh, like an iron sword, because it's D rank. I guess I'll do that. Iron sword and steel sword, sure. I think everything is good. Everything's good. And since we're here, we'll go ahead and sell all of our bullion. Let's see. Bullion, bullion. First, large. 
Very handy. Promotes a base class at level 10 to an advanced class, which... Good thing we have lots of that, because we have a decent number of people who are going to get there. And then we can use, like, a second seal. I wonder if once you master seal, if you then have to use master seal again to do stuff. Like, if you second seal to a normal class, if you have to, then master seal again. We'll have we'll find out. The Midmire. It looks like it's going to be a desert. Chapter 10, Renewal. And this happens right after Emerin is dead. Come on. Hurry! There should be carriages waiting just through the ravine! Crom, Crom please! Uh, right. I'm... I'm coming. Go. Quickly! We're almost... Huh? Damn! Prison? Or just normal dudes? Plagians! I knew it couldn't be that easy. They're right in our way! We must fight! And it's plain depressing music. Damn it. Alright, who do we want to bring in? It's a main thing. Hmm. It's playing depressing music, and it's making me sad. We could use to... We'll put Stall and Sully away. We'll pair Donnie and Nowie. Pair you. Hmm. Maybe take these guys away. We'll have Pan go with Libra. And like, maybe Anne with Lanku. And Sumia can get some levels in as well. And now let's view the map. Jesus, it seems like a big map. I wonder, so it seems like we're gonna have to go kill, he has a fucking beef stone. Hell yeah. We're gonna grab that. So it more than likely seems like... Hmm. There's a lot of enemies. But we'll send a team up here to grab that sparkly. And send a team this way to take out all these guys, grab that sparkly, and then we'll converge on this guy. Because he doesn't move. Alright, let's see. Pair up with who? Who do we want to send where? Obviously, Krom and I will go that way. Lanku and Anne can go up here, or maybe we'll bring them along as well. Hmm. Because we want... Pan and Libra to go together. I guess Vike can pair up with Cordelia. So let's see. We have how many minions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we should have six teams. So, three teams up there, three teams this way. So, let's see. Lanku and Anne can follow us. And then the mages can also follow us. And then everyone else can go up. Okay. It's playing depressing music. It's just hitting my soul. Hold there. Elysians. I offer you mercy. Surrender to me now and live. Surrender? Sorry, I'm not familiar with the word. Hmm. Emerin would not have wished for this to come to bloodshed. Damn you. Don't speak her name! Hmm. Your rage is justified, Prince Krom. But the meaning of your sister's final sacrifice was not lost on me. I suspect many Plagians who heard her final words would say the same. 
If you lay down your weapons, I vow to protect you as best I can. What? How can we trust you after what you bar your barbarous king has done? I think we shall take our chances with weapons in hand. I suspected you would say as much. So be it, Prince Crumb. I shall endeavor to grant you a swift and dignified end. So this guy is at least not a total ass. That's kind of sad in that he wants to, like, not be terrible. What? Oh, because there's no, like, like, yeah, th they need to be paired together. My bad. Oh, don't you play this music at me. It's already hurting my soul. <laughs> oh, you bastards. I've, I think I've heard this song somewhere. I, or at least the let motif that's going on. Fly forward. Kill them all! But it's kind of sad because this Plegian, he's like willing to work with us. He's, well, he's not, well, he wants to protect us, but only if we lay down our arms. It's kind of saddening. Love the music that's playing. What are those thieves I see scattered about? So they found our battlefield. They comb it for trinkets and spoils, then scurry away like mice. Pah! We shall bring them to justice later. First, the Elysians! I like this battlefield. This battlefield is neat. And then we play happy music when you level up. I feel reborn. Oh, so the thieves have stuff. We might have to hunt them down. Worm Slayer? Master Seal. And... Go ahead, strike this one down. Yeah, I think I might just send my Pegasus Knights flying about to take down the thieves, maybe. Go hunting. Strike him down! I love the animations on these, like, kind of chibi models. They're not super chibi, but kind of, kind of. Forgive me, sir, but I, I no longer see the justice in hunting these people down. I accept any punishment you see fit, but after all that's happened, I just can't. Huh? How dare you question the general's orders! You know full well the punishment for insubordination is death. But, but sir, these people are... These questions are not ours to ponder, lad. The soldier does not judge. The soldier delivers judgment. Sir, I... I cannot raise my lands against them, even if... even if it means death. You were there when Imran spoke, weren't you? So be it. 
Those of you unwilling to fight are dismissed. But I don't wish to abandon you, sir. I cannot defy the king, lad. I know him well. He would murder my wife and child to set an example. I will accept the blame for your actions today. Now go. Wait, General. I see a cause worthy fighting for, one I believe in. Loyalty to my general. Aye, that's a good lad. God, you are hitting me. You're sending the good Plagians to us, and now it hurts. Oh, such pain. Poor Rickon. And poor emulator, apparently. There are too many effects. It's killing them all. Oh, and yeah, you're gonna throw. Even if it hit, he would have lived, but damn, it would have been a close thing. Go ahead, throw an axe. Watch as you die. Apparently the Plagian. These poor fools. Fighting so strong. Block that axe. There's even more thieves on the run. Hmm. Killing edge this man. He shall not live! But it said he was gonna die. But th I thought it said... Oh, 15. For, my brain is all over the place for some reason. I, I misread so many numbers that were so simple. Well, first things first, we should probably be able to make sure that I can. I will change to Thunder to blast the sky in the rain. We shall blast you with some wind. That is overkill, my dude. That poor plague-in soldier. Torn apart by wind. Hmm. He has the Worm Slayer, Master Seal, and a Seraph Robe. We want all of these. Hunt them down to the last! Send the bully on away. Because it doesn't really matter. Can come up here and smack him from behind. You die today. A worthless crit. It's raining, raining rabbits. At least uh, I don't feel that bad for using Pan here because we're getting a beast stone. Blast that man out of the air. He can't even deal any damage to Nowie. Noe. That's one of them. <laughs> now I'm imagining, like, Donald climbing the cliff, stabbing the guy, and climbing back down.
Congratulations, you weren't going to do any damage anyway. Now this guy, he can do a little bit of damage. I don't think Sumia has fought a single person. Ah, but uh, they can fight over cliffs. Good. Oh, never mind. He's throwing. How oh, damn you. And you keep throwing lances. Stop it. Or axes. Still stop it. Sumi is going to be hunted by axe-throwing weverns all this time. Call in reinforcements! Draw them close and strike! Mostly I'm worried because uh, like I would. Hmm. We'll strike this guy down. Then maybe we'll let Vike come out to play. And another unnecessary crit. My army loves getting crits on people that are already dead. Strike down that thief. <laughs> Goodbye, thief. Now give me your master seal. He took a fort! He must be destroyed! He took a... <laughs> he might be in a fort, but it's not gonna help him. You picked a very poor person to fight. Be blasted from the sky by a fireball in the rain! You all keep throwing hand axes. They all keep throwing hand axes! Poor Sumia. You can run all you want. Are you getting handsomer? Love has clouded my keen powers of observation. Really? Thanks, just give me time, alright? I'll be twice the man I am now. I guess you could argue that this is like kind of fantasy medieval times, but still. It just feels weird. Don't let that thief get away. Steal Lance! And a level up for Sumia. And I guess now, come on in, Vike. Slaughter some fiends. Ah, good job, level A. Strike him down. I doubt they'll really attack them, but still. So you've come to die by the Vike. 
My abs! Oh, yep, she maxed out. I'll have to look up which is better. Second seal or master seal. You all keep going to your deaths. Well, I think, well, I guess Sumia might be going to her death if that dragon rider comes after her again. But he was, it all depends if he hits the throw this time. Miss. Miss. It's a literal 50-50 chance that he's going to hit. <laughs> Damn it. Granted, she avoided a lot of damage. Oh, that's kind of mean. They make it almost seem like she slipped again. Now we're gonna let Donald get a stab in. And get blasted. And equip some wind. And equip a steel sword. And go ahead and let her take point a bit. You picked the wrong person to attack today. Now get crit. <laughs> Take that, Dragon Man. And they're all gonna go after Muriel now, aren't they? Not realizing that they are making a huge mistake. My gratitude. Do they just sense Rickon being harmed in there? So like, if we kill Muriel, we'll have an easy time obliterating Rickon. And then they get killed. Your entire army is gone. Now I just need to decide who should get the killing blow. I think Pan. I think Pan should get the killing blow. So that she can just automatically have the beast stone. It'll take him a long time to get here. I guess we'll... I see. Place him there. We'll place... Now he here. I'm here to fight you. I am General Mustafa of Plegia. If you wish to keep your lives, then you must win them. I respect your honor. In a better world, things could have gone better. Now the problem is he might actually attack somebody who's ranged. Good, he didn't attack somebody who's ranged. Fly all you want, dudes. Spawn all you want. In fact, what is our goal for this map? Defeat the enemy commander. Then we shall. Give me that beast stone of yours. Good man. It's like an actual anime battle. 
with a climactic finish. Well done, Elysians. <laughs> Please spare my men. Such a good man. Just on the wrong side. Like, he even admitted. Con Boss Leo! Who are you? Olivia! I'm sorry we kept you waiting. When I didn't hear from you, I thought I assumed the worst. Crom, Neon, meet Olivia. She'll be smuggling us out of here. Only if you hurry. Doubtless more of the Mad King's men are on their way. Right. right. Pile in, you lot, and bid farewell to this Plagian hellhole. Ready? Hold on tight. I am in pain. It was, play it was playing depressing music the entire time. And our mission failed. All of that for nothing. M. Oh, M. I should have died before allowing the Exalt to be captured. I have failed as a knight. So what now, Oaf? Don't look to me. I'm not in charge. I picked a fine time to regain the full throne. Krom, I'm... I'm so sorry. My plan just wasn't enough. You did your best, Neon. You have my thanks. It's my own failures that haunt me now. Gods. Gods, I was just so powerless. It's not your fault either, Krom. She did it for me, Neon. So that I wouldn't have to live with the guilt of either choice she chose for me. She sacrificed herself rather than give up what could one day save her people. Krom, hey. listen to me, look at me. All right. I was powerless once too, remember? Yes, alone, I don't think either one of us in ha is half the person your sister was. But together, maybe we can be something more. If you fall, I'll be there to pull you back up. When you fight for your sister's ideals, I'll be by your side. You don't have to become your sister, you know? You can still be true to yourself. You just have to give people hope in whatever way you can. Still... And what if I can't? What if I'm not worthy of her ideals? And Leon, what if I drag you down with me? Yeah. If you aren't worthy, you'll keep at it until you are. And if we both fall down, well, that's what friends are for, isn't it? Hang in there. That's right. I wouldn't even be here if not for you. Just don't you gave me your trust, and now you have mine. For the time being. Don't falter. Were you unworthy, I would have left long ago. It took great courage and charisma to unite all of us. I knew I possessed such talents, but clearly you do as well. Right. Yeah, we all look up to you. You're like a hero to us. Thank you, everyone. Your words mean more than you could know. My shepherds, my warriors. There is work to be done. Gangrel must be stopped so that peace can once again reign in Yelise. Will you help me? You can count me in. I'm tired of crying all the time. It's time to start punching stuff. You can do here, here, darling. I forgot to read the rest of it because I'm a fool. Gladly would I fight and die for House Elise. Gladly would I fight and kill those dastards for House Elise. Our hearts echo yours, sire. I will be your the unbreakable shield by your side. I'm with you, too. You know, just in case anyone... Hello? Teach is here and class is in session. Is on huh. job. How much you pay, Gregor? <laughs> Gregor make joke. Why you look at Gregor like that? Your sister earned my respect. The last Tagal shall champion her. You have grown strong, my lord. I may have set poor example as a knight. But I swear to you, I shall die before any more exalted blood is spilled. Thank you. Thank you all. Truly. You honor me with your fealty. I will not falter again. But he said, 
We shall answer this outrage. The Mad King must be stopped. <laughs> right. It's time for old Gangrel to get a dose of his own vulnery. The whole of the Feroxy army is yours to send crashing against him. Ha! Ah, you young folk! Your passions run so hot! If I had any gray hairs, you would have singed them right off. In other words, count me in! I'd like to go too, if I may. The Exalt did me a kindness once. She did? Yes, sire. It would honor me to have a part in giving her justice. Although all I can do is dance. If I'm not so skilled at that, if we're being honest. <laughs> She's too so modest. Olivia is a Feroxy treasure. You won't meet a finer dancer in all the realms. Her moves inspire soldiers to work twice as hard. You do well to bring her along, Commander. Commander? What happened to Boy? You've earned your way up from that name, I think. Now where were we? Oh yes, I was just about to start cracking skulls. Flavia will lead me and the other Feroxy in a head-on assault. That should buy you enough time to take down Gengro. Hear that, boy? You get the fun part! Still... I thought you weren't gonna call me... Right. You and Neon have me every confidence. Have my every confidence. You're a born leader, and she has a knack for guiding troops to victory. You both have some growing to do yet, but I can already see you grow tall. <laughs> Thanks, Boss Leo. All right, enough talk. It's time to raise some hell! Yes. Right. Let's get to it then. Gangrel may try to hit us while we're still licking our wounds. Right. Let him try. This time I'm ready to dethrone the Mad King once and for all. And what do we have here? Just more iron weapons. And up here is the Border Wastes, Chapter 11. And no support, oddly enough. Let me double check everything. Pan does have her next. Where's Pan? I'm blind. Has another beast stone! So, do do do. We've been going for a little bit, so. Let me, hmm. Quickly check, like, maybe we'll do a DLC. Maybe. Hmm. We can maybe try the last Champions of Yore. But first, we're gonna fight this guy. First things first. Mm, I think Krom can be taken down. I can be taken down, and we can save us for, like, other kinds of grinding, maybe. Cordelia is maxed out. In fact, before I forget, I'm going to search. Master Seal or Second Seal? Let's see. Let's see, should always be Master, then Second Seal, if any character that you plan to reclass. Second Seal first makes it so you have to spend nine levels in a worse class to gain nothing, and it doesn't even save you any gold or seals. Alright, so, Advance, and then Second Seal. We'll give you a Second Seal, I guess, at some, or a Master Seal at one point. Unless I'm blind. Let me just see. Uh, so yeah, we want to promote and then we can second seal. Is what I do believe. But yeah, we want to level up Donnie some more and maybe pair like a. But let's see. We also have Olivia now. We want to level up Sumia. See. We should also try and level up our healers, maybe. Maybe Gaius. 
I have so many characters that I need to level. Definitely Pan and Libra. We want to pair them together to, like, see their characterization further. Hmm. We'll level up Rickon some. Vike some. Hmm. Let's see. Just trying to think on who I want to bring. There's too many characters, but I love them all. Ba 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 ba. I think what I'll do, maybe, is have, like, do an off-screen, like, super leveling of healers. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll pair up, uh, Long Ku hmm. I want to see the second of Libra and Pan. So maybe leave Long Ku out for now. And instead, we'll... Hmm. Who knows? Maybe that'd be interesting. Hmm. But decisions, decisions. Because I need to, like, level up some people. Level up their skills and stuff. Actually, I think I might bring me along and use magic. And then the, the arm seal thing. Yeah. There. All right. Swap. Wait. Hmm. How far can you move? You can move good. Here, switch. First things first, I'll also put on my thunder, since these are weak Bobby enemies. And I've got a Tiki's Tear. Yeah, that can go away. Oh, I'm a fool. Go ahead and pair with her. How dare you lightning blast th the rabbit lady. These are all mages, except for like two dudes. That is borderline hilarious. Come down here and blast this guy. And don't die. <laughs> Get a crit and annihilate. You didn't even need that. One hit would have killed him anyway. I'm gonna come and stab you with my lance. Well, let's use steel lance just if we can. <laughs> Go ahead and fight me. And now I will probably proceed to obliterate my enemies one by one. <laughs> and Rickon has decided to join the fight. With utter annihilation of a poor fool. Go ahead and put the bully on away. Not the poor boy! And you missed anyway, fool. Quit lighting his pot on fire. He is but a poor boy. I will annihilate this guy in one go. 
<laughs> it just like crotch thrusted at us. What a bunch of freaks. Poor Donnie, he just has to keep dodging. And now Donnie gets to murder. You have now become Donnie's food. You were unsatisfying, apparently. Everyone keeps attacking Donnie! Poor boy! But he keeps on dodging because he's a he's a master. Hmm. Who do we want? Uh Sumi hasn't leveled up. She got annihilated last time. Let's give her a chance. And now she's back with a vengeance. Time for death. Destroy this man with your own power. It was your time. <laughs> Kills a guy. Eh, it was just his time. Wouldn't blast this guy with some thunder. Yes. And Max. Huzzah. Please also, uh, uh, did the thing so I can just do the thing. Yeah! Life is good. Let's see, do I want Yeah, let's let Donnie get it. And then maybe Vike can kill the other guy if he doesn't suicide against somebody. Bing, bada, ba, bing. And who are you going to fight? No, not the poor Pegasus that won't even be annihilated by the bonus damage of that. Hmm. Let's give Gaius a chance to smite a man. It would be interesting if, like, when you used, like, a... Weapons final thing if it actually broke in the animation, but that's probably asking for too much. I just think it'd be a neat detail <laughs> Broke sword, but ganged book And we got some supports oh, Donnie and Penn huh. mm, A hunter's trap uh, That's is this your doing? Gosh, I'm sorry, Pan. I never dreamed I'd snare me a person. I've been doing this for years, but you're the first human being I ever caught. I am no human. I am a Tagal. So sorry. Caught in a trap. How embarrassing. Still, it is remarkably well made. I grew up in the mountains, and our little pig farm couldn't feed us all. If we wanted to eat, we had to hunt. So your survivor's skills bested mine. That is your claim? I'm real sorry. I didn't mean no offense. I didn't mean none of this. I'll stop trapping if you promise not to eat me. No, no needn't to stop, man spawn. The problem is easily solved. I only need to keep a sharper lookout for your human traps. Huh? Y you sure you don't mind then? Hmm. I welcome the challenge. An interesting beginning. And what is your B? Your B rank. Hello, Pan. <gasps> what now, priest? I apologize for disturbing you, but there's something I need to ask. Why did you come to the Exalt's aid? Can you not believe a Tagal would help a human? No. Apologies, that isn't what I meant. Uh, had you even met her before? No. no, the night of the assassination attempt was the first I saw her. I knew neither her face nor her name. All I knew is she was descended from the first Exalt. Yes. Your debt was to a man who died over a thousand years ago? Yes. It is the debt of all the Tagal. We are told the story is Kit's. In his time, the Tagal were slaves to humans, kept as labor or even pets who were treated worse than livestock. The slightest resistance would earn a swift execution to serve as an example. You know his name. I've never heard of such cruelty. Well. Humans are quick to forget history, or rewrite it. But the first exalt had the strength and courage to end the horror. 
He stood up for the Tagal, though it earned him the ire of his fellow humans. We are all the same, he said. Equal beings, no difference separates human and Tagal. It was a platitude then, as now, but in that platitude my kind found salvation. Liberation and equality took time, but in those words we found dignity, and so we teach our young of the debt we owe him. Should any exalt ever need our aid, we will give it regardless of cost. I see. Despite our history, I never hated mankind. The exalt proved your race's worth, until Manspawn slaughtered my people and put my war into ruin, that is. Pan, I haven't heard the words to tell you. I've spoken all of mine as well, and wasted both our time. Not at all. You've allowed me to better understand who you are, Pan, and convinced me you are someone I would dearly love to know still better. I thank you for sharing your story with me. Hmm. Very interesting. For now we shall save. We shall quickly sell whatever we need to sell. Let's see. And we should also probably use... Ah, was there no bully on there? Did we put it away? We have a medium bullion. All right. And I think the next thing I shall do is quickly save. And then use the arm scroll. But at the same time, I will be, like, using me a lot in, like, normal chapters. So it's not that big of a deal, maybe? Maybe I should, like, use it on Libra to raise his rank. Like, if I waited on Frederick, maybe use it on him. But you definitely want to use it on somebody who's, like, a multi-weapon user. Hmm. Oh, barracks, randomly. Barracks have been activated. Have I mentioned you've been acting odd lately? Would, why do you wander off from camp? I'm sure no one else... I, I make sure everyone else is safe and sound. Nothing hurts like losing a comrade. Are you implying that you go away so people don't die because of you? Well, first things first. I guess we should... Master Seal me. Because I'm at maximum level 20. Promotes a base class to an advanced class. Use! I can become Grand Master. A seasoned tactician upon whom victory hinges. I would think that that's the best thing to do. I assume. Oh, magical. We throw it in the air and explodes in magic <laughs> and transforms us. And now I look gaudy as hell. Hell yeah. Time to start building up some experience. Amazing. Well, let's see, who else? There was... Uh... Cordelia, we need to master seal you as well. Falcon Knight or Dark Flyer? A seasoned Pegasus Knight on a new mount wields lances and staves, or a seasoned Pegasus Knight who wields lances and tomes? I don't know. I don't know, like, what good things are. Hmm. Because, hmm, having a, hmm, having a fighter that can fly around and use, like, a staff as, as like, a last-minute save could be cool. Could definitely be neat. But I almost kind of want to go with Dark Flyer so that we, like, there's also ranged options. So if, like, she gets attacked, she can fly, like, uh, even from, like, hand axe people. 
and stuff, she can still do things. So it's basically if you care. Hmm. I think... Because it's mostly we already have people dedicated to healing. But, like, having a character who, like, on the side can do magic is nice. And we already have our war guy. And again, I need to f do a leveling session purely for Maribel and Lu uh, Lissa. So, to so say, yeah, I think Dark Flyer. Go Dark Flying. I still like that there's a whole animation for this. It summoned a horse! Hell yeah. I'm yours to mold as you see fit. Hell yeah. I don't think anybody else is, like, leveled up to the point. Hmm. Because maybe Donald... It's like, we're close on some. I need to level up Krom some more so that we can level, like, super level him up. Master seal him. I wonder if, like, Pan, like, can be s sealed up as well. But there's lots to do. And I guess just as a funny aha, uh -huh, I want to see if we can do the last of the... Like, ancient warrior hero things. Yeah, Champions of Yore. Let's try this. Last time, it almost kicked my ass. But let's go on. It's been a bit since we've seen old Bubba. Or Bubba. This island again? Uh, I suppose old Hubba will be along any... Help save me, oh mighty warriors! Yes, yes, settle down, old timer. What is it this time? We're surrounded by a legion of Heinherjar, and I've not a single card left to defend us. We're doomed, oh sweet bee. Make room for me in heaven, I'm coming to join you. What? Easy, Habba, we already retrieved several of your cards, right? What about those? That's right, you did, past tense, but you tricked me out of them again. When you say she, you don't mean... A versa came to me, crying and begging for forgiveness. She really did look sorry, and then she smelled like rose. And she smelled my, like yeah. For for some reason, I my brain thought, oh, smells like, and then it tricked me. I'm like, no, it said smells my man. And she smelled like roses. And then while I was fumbling with my enough, that's quite enough. Thank you. My thanks as well, Bubbles, both for all your precious in her jar. And for these fools you've brought back for them to slaughter. Your phantom's having a ghost of a chance, Aversa. Oh, so clever. Let's see how that wit fares against 20 of hero history's greatest heroes. So does that mean I have... Ooh, I get to have like a full stack of units. Hmm. I'll put Cordelia to the side. Because we definitely want Donal. We might pair up other people, put you away, bring in... Is Pan already in there? Yeah, Pan's already in there. Now, who do we want to bring in? I guess we could Pan Lonk. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe Gregor with Libra? Hmm. But at the same time, Gaius could use some leveling and then he could maybe do stuff, yes? I think this is good. But now let us view the map. Jesus. So it's basically all of them. So more than likely, I should, like, focus on one. Like, run all the way back here to slaughter these guys if possible. And then maybe I can have one of my Pegasus, my Pegasus Knight Sumia fly back here and grab this village. All right, then. Let's see. Who is the slowest here? 
Definitely you. You'll pair up with Sumi, I guess. Everything seems good, I would say. Let's save and fight the greatest that ever did great. So you're to be our opponents. You appear capable enough. Uh, there's something about this one. That's Ike! He was a legend! Many say the strongest the world has known. More importantly, he was my favorite card. I want him back! <laughs> he certainly has the look of a legend. Especially the hair. Are you the leader of this army? I am. You can call me Krom. I'm Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Shall we get this over with? Right. Certainly. It would be an honor to face you. Likewise, I enjoy defeating worthy opponents. Heh. <laughs> That'll be my line once the day's through. Haha, <laughs> nice comeback. I am a grandmaster. A super tactician. Upon whom victory hinges. But wait. This is gonna be a potentially tough fight. We shall pair people together proper like. Hmm. Let me make sure again. people up so they can be super strong I guess I'll pair Gregor with Sumia oh can't go that far but he can and we'll We'll move this way. Am I fighting the right enemy? Nothing is clear anymore. Why is your eye why are your eyes like that? <laughs> you have a very poor choice. My life is Prince Mart's to use as he sees fit. Be blocked by my wondrous sheen. For Prince Moth. Uh. So we definitely want to level up Marth so that we can, like, uh, Master Seal him. There's going to be so many people charging all over the place. Hmm, he can annihilate Marth. What about you? Can you annihilate Marth? Yeah, but that would... Oh, he does bonus damage? Was that a... Noble Rapier. So I guess it does damage to... Quote-unquote beasts. Killing Edge Moth. Strike him down! Mine is an army of good and strong comrades. You'll not prevail this night. Save that high and mighty crap for when you're dead. A man has much growing to do if he cannot even protect his own friends. Exactly. That's why you lost. Maybe sent her down to just... Oh no, that village is just destroyed. Yeah, get her closer to the village. I must live on for my sister's sake. You're gonna die. Damn you! <laughs> Thief from the night, forgive me, Julia. Guess I teached you. That's the entire little thing, but he says teach a lot. 
So Brain was like, haha, teached. And now they're all gonna go after Vike. I'm coming for you, Nana! And he did no damage. Now you die. I fight for Seleph, my lord brother. I already killed him. Oh Jesus, that's a lot of fucking damage! Jesus. I was like, oh, they don't, we don't have anything to worry about. Look down. 27 damage. Fear gripped me. You fuck. Hmm. Now the question is, who do I want to send where to do what? Because these guys are packed up now. Destroy this man, this thief! Why do you fight? The gold and blood you gain from your brigandry make you no greater a man. The way I see it, you fight for nothing. Shut up and prepare to get stabbed. Save that high and mighty crap for when you're dead. Super dead. Gods, give me strength. I must fight on. Hilarious considering that you're a thief. And you're the one to talk about brigandry. This is only the start of what I can do. Don't let her get away. My brother is watching. I must be bold. More like you're gonna get folded. Interesting. This is the first time I've seen a double-double fight. Did you see Ephraim? Did you? He saw you died. Jesus. Guess I could... Hmm. We really need to kill this magic lady. Well, time for Steel Sword. Get crit, bitch. Uh, stay vigilant, brother. Their might is great. Your brother's already dead. Do I want to attack like this? Hmm. Could come here, switch and blast him. And other people can do damage to him as well. Blast Sigurd! Let us in this fight so Deirdre and I might return to our castle! Be hilarious if you crit this guy to death. <laughs> Now you can return in the grave. Damn, I cannot fall here. Not while Deirdre needs me still. Yes, now we're talking. Here I come. I'm going to elf under you so that no matter what you die next time, don't expect any mistakes from me while Erica is watching. What if I crit you to death? Darn. If I miss, great devastation would befall me. Ah, well, she is standing right... Ruin, you say? Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah, I think I'm going to let uh, Vike take that if he does get hit. Bye-bye.
last, Erica. Promise you won't think ill of your brother. I stand by Lord Sigurd, now and always. Well, then get in the grave. Haha, <laughs> you missed. And they are marching upon us, slowly but surely. Let's see. Hmm. I say let's try. Face the might of a dragon. I must return to Lord Sigurd while I still have the strength. Bye-bye. Ooh, what's this? Finders keepers. F a raking box. Neat. You guys go over here and uh, visit the village. Fee, you must you warmongers smash at each other, even at this ungodly hour? Here, take this and finish your folly before you take me with, take me youngins. A noble, I'm just, I'm, I'm bad at words. I should probably just smash you. My life matters not, but my lord must live on. Your lord's already dead. Now get prepared to join him. My, may the power save you, Lord Leif. I think I already smacked him dead. Well, let's prepare. Equip Killing Edge so that we have an edge. Come on. Why would you pick a fight with me? You have no chance of winning. You literally picked a fight with me. <laughs> Don't be so modest. Teach is very selective about his pupils. Bastard! Die! This might be a nice grinding place for levels and, like, stuff. Anybody want to touch my muscles? No. Well, what a bitch. You're attacking from there? I'm coming, Roy. Just let me finish off this rogue here. You better fucking miss. Good. 23 damage for that little spark? Not a swordsman alive can best Lin, but I still know how to fight. You have come to die, literally. How are you slower than this guy in terms of combat when you're on a horse? Oh, that might be why. My Lord Ike, let me fight with you. Five damage at 35% chance. You bitch. Let's see. Who do I want to blast? Well, let's blast him. I probably should have let Donald get a hit in. Ah, there'll be more. You win. Perhaps they'll never make a warrior of me. Perhaps you'll die, slowly but surely. Yeah, we need to get you out of here. You have a low chance to hit, but God, you're scary. Good job, Gorgo. How could my magic fail? These dogs have been well-trained. That's a bit arrogant, don't you think? Gregor no run of Miller guy, yes? Uh, 
I'm going to kill you now. Prepare to die. That's not how you use a rapier. Perhaps I never stood a chance, but if I bought the other's time... Goodbye. Let's see. Guess it's time for him to have a shot. I have to end this for Lilina's sake. Well, goodbye. Uh, Lilina deserves better. That she does, little guy. That she does. I'm gonna kill you. I'll cut them all down before Ellie Wood can lift a finger. Well, he's already dead. You better not crit me, Lynn. Never mind, he's gonna crit you. Yeah, cuz then again, I think we would have lived if she crit us. I'm sorry, Ellie Wood. It seems my blade wasn't half as sharp as my tongue. Ooh, Beast Bane. What is Beast Bane, I wonder? Beast Bane allows units in Tagal form to deal bonus damage to Beast Riders. Neat! Hmm. Let's see. Who do I want to see first fight? Beat down this man. Just a falcon should do. Come anywhere near, Micaiah, and I'll drop you where you stand. Too bad, you've gotta die. Crits for days! Micaiah, survive! Time to stab ya! Show me just one foe that Celica and I can't bring down together. Again, this would be so much more horrifying if these guys could pair up together. If the enemy could pair up together and have their own affinity bonuses. This is all wrong. I wonder what happened if you killed him with his own sword. God, you are horrifying. Why does your face read like... I don't know, what was that one? That one anime show, I forget. The, but yeah, your eyes. I don't know why, but this art is so weird. The face and then the tits. Utterly horrifying. Are you really my enemy? I don't know, are you really alive? Does that answer your question? Friend, foe, I just don't... What is wrong with her? Beyond just her face. We'll do a lot of damage, but kill her anyway. Plus she has a, a less likely to hit. All needs me! And I need you to die. I can't go on. I'm sorry, Alm. Yeah, Alm's already dead. And now we just need to fly on over to the enemy. Then we get to decide who gets to kill the boss, who is probably Marth. Right? Or no, we already fought Marth. It's Ike, yes. Ike is the boss man. I'll probably give it to uh, Krom so that he can level up a bit more. Go over there, visit the... Uh, I'm wanting all of Talus is going on. Hmm? Ah, an army! They've come to kill us! 
Woe! Woe to us all! Here, to take this and spare a poor fool's life, I'm begging you! A blessed lance. 11 might restores 10 HP. Again, I wonder if uh, it counts if it's just like in the inventory, if it has to be equipped. And that probably stacks with the other skill, the like relief, if you're away from any units for three, three diddly d like that, that skill. Lord Krom is coming to kick your ass. Now the question is, who should grab the sparkly? Oh, nope, don't want to go. Well, uh, that should actually be safe. Because maybe that will be an experience buff, and that'll level them up. What in tarnation? I ain't seen nothing like this back on the farm. It is a glass lance. Never seen that neither. Wait, I wonder. Nope, can't fly over the town. I guess that's illegal. So, if we place Sumia there. Nope, Vike would get annihilated. I'm coming for you, Krom. Killing Edge! Sorry, but I have a mind to win this fight. And block. Goodbye. Looks like I've got a lot to learn. Booyah. Huzzah! Huzzah! Did you see that bee? Gods bless you, Crom. You did it again. All my calling cards back safe and sound. You've made this gray old man so happy. Ah, yes. Now, here's that special tome, as promised. Use it wisely. Thanks, Hubba. I'm glad we could help. We'd best get back, uh, get headed back to our own... Wait! Yet another vision! What? You can't be serious. The future again, but... You are not there this time. Oh, it's so dark and horrible. It's the other out realms. After you abandoned them, death is everywhere. These other realms have their own nine hundred jar, you see, and no one like me to keep them. These phantoms have taken on lives of their own and started great wars. We have to. We have our own great war to fight back in our world, Hubba. Yes, and defeating those other nine hundred jar will help you in that struggle. I foresee gold, experience, legendary weapons, and heroes, but that's not all. Why do I feel like I'm being sold something at market? All right, old timer, how do we reach these other out realms? Glad you asked. It's easy as pie. Merely return to the gate, choose an out realm, and I'll guide you from there. But I should warn you, saving the other out realms won't be quite so simple. How do you mean? You may have to fight the same soldiers more than once to truly defeat them. The Einhajar can come back to life, you see. They're stubborn that way. Let me guess. It's something to do with the unique time continuum thing? Why, yes! How did you know? Do you have the gift of foresight as well? Perhaps you have also prognosticated what we must do to stop them. Defeat them repeatedly to weaken them, and I can seal them back in their cards. Oh, sure. Best the greatest soldiers in history over and over again. No problem. That's the spirit. And don't worry, I'll be there to help. Uh, with useful advice, at least. Here's a sample. Within their own worlds, the Einhajar believe they are real. Right. How is that knowledge any way useful? Well, I mean, perhaps in matter of diplomacy or dinner conversation. <clears throat> Never mind. Hopefully you'll find this card more advantageous. This is Micaiah, Priestess of Dawn. Lovely, isn't she? Hate to give her up. But a deal's a deal. Here you go. Take her before I change my mind. 
Hello, utterly deranged looking person. What is this place? Has the fighting ended? That means we've lost. I'm yours to command. My name is Micaiah. Do you know who I am? I don't even have never heard of you before. I hail from Dian, on the continent of Tellius, a world far from here. Some call me the Priestess of Dawn. I am gifted with occasional farsight. But in truth, I had no idea I would meet you and your army here. Just who are you, anyway? What is your name? Neon, is it? And you are this army's tactician? Tell me, Neon, what sort of tactician are you? What plans have you weaved to secure your victories? If you had to resort to something underhanded and dirty, would you? What if failing to do so would get your comrades killed? Would you resort to evil to save a friend? Well, it depends on the evil, really. Like... Hmm. Yeah, it depends on the evil, but I think I would say no. Then you are just, but justice can cost you victory, and defeat can cost you the lives of friends. Are you able to live with that? I'm sorry, I'm being a bully. But I never fully un but I could never fully choose, and I made many mistakes as a result. Listen to me. I talk to you as if I've known you for years. We should remedy that. Tell me more about yourself. Sure. Let's go. And all stats plus two, two. Is this grindable? Or is that a single time victory? Support time. Are you going to be weird? What? Hey, what's all the sniveling about? Hi. Oh, n nothing. Hi. Ah, you can't fool the Vike. I'm a master of psych, uh, psych. Yeah, you know, mind stuff. I had a frightening dream. Huh? A nightmare, eh? What about beasts, schools, snaggletooth witches? Nope. I was all alone. Everyone had left me, even Crom and Neon. <laughs> well, that's a daft dream. Crom and Neon would never do that. Heck, no shepherd would do that. Aww. But in a hundred years, you will. You'll all be gone. Oh, well, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> then I'll be all alone. Oh, Look, you can't go weeping over what might happen a hundred years from now. You gotta live in the present and have fun while you still can. It's easier said than done. <laughs> if you've got time to brood about future centuries, you've got time to have fun. In fact, let's play a game right now. How about Headless Soldier? Yay! What is Headless Soldier and what does that fucking mean, Vike? What is Headless Soldier? Alright, but I think things be good. Once again, I will probably do some grinding off-screen to raise levels and affinity between people. But only a little bit. So, yeah. I really like this. It's, it's still kind of a depressing, like, continuation for the story. Because we went and we fought a Plegian who only fought because the evil King Gangrel would doubtless threaten his family. If he didn't, he was willing to let insubordinates leave, but they still chose to stand beside him because they respected him so much. It's like, ah, oh, poor, poor man. Poor man. But yeah, the, I, I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the story. And I, it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I guess I should maybe look at, like, uh, it was like, Where's me? And I just bumped up in levels like crazy. But I was going to look at a thing. Thing, thing, thing. Because we have the all stats plus two. Teaches a skill that... Oh, it's a skill! Teaches a skill that grants plus two to all stats on a unit. Interesting. But I wonder who I would want to give that to, really. Like, maybe me, because I'm having a bunch of stats no matter what. But I think I'll hold off just for now. I'll hold off just for now. Oh, yeah, and I guess while I'm here, uh, Renown Rewards, because I know this exists. So, Glass Sword. A Second Seal. Orson's Hatchet, a Fabled Throwing Axe. Seed of Trust. Leaven Sword deals magical damage based on magic. Ne 
Neat. And yeah, the Seed of Trust, which builds support between two paired units. Energy Drop permanently increases strength. And Beast Killer, effective against beasts and riders. And we have just lots to go. I'm not going to grind all the way down there. We'll just check back from time to time if we ac actually grab things. And it was only a second seal that they gave me. <laughs> Do we have any, like, super sellers on the map anymore? Yeah, this one sells javelins. But, yeah, I think that will be it for now. Save crazily, just in case I forgot. But yeah, again, the poor Plague guy who, like, was willing to protect us. But at the same time, he wasn't willing to defect because of his family, and it's entirely possible that Gangrel is so insane that he would have ordered us killed anyway. And Mustafa probably would have handed us over to Gangrel. So, like, I don't know. That would be that would be an interesting what if to explore. But Mustafa was only there for a little bit. But he seemed like such a cool character, and now he's just gone. And more depressing this, but it, that, it did kind of lighten up when basically every recruited soldier that we have was there to vouch for Krom. And be like, we will serve you and fight by your side. But yes, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel that has, like, reviews, countdowns and stuff, whatever I want, rambles, essays. In the future, perhaps. Again, edited content. Coming in the future if I can wrangle the brain. Neon Icy Wings is the channel's name. And then I have the gaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. Where gameplay and live streams happen. And then the recordings of those live streams are then uploaded for posterity and future viewers. Already uploaded is like the Mass Effect trilogy all the way through. As well as Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, mini games. I'm currently going through the Ace Attorney trilogy there. I need to jump back on that. And if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch as opposed to YouTube, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. Then if you like art similar to my little character in the corner drawn by me, you can see me post art on the various art sites and not really art sites like Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, Pillowfart. There's so many sites, which is why all those links to those sites can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings. The direct link to the link tree can also be found in the link places, bios, and descriptions across the various sites. Also in my link tree are links to my writing, if that would please you, as well as my Patreon. If you feel like being kind and throwing me a diddly dee dollar or so in the face of the evils of the world, like Unity deciding, like, oh, you want to use our fucking engine? Well, pay us 20 cents every single time someone installs like, your game. Like utter madness. The rich people have lost their minds. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye.